It has finally happened, my peeps. CinemaCon is currently going on in Las Vegas, and the first group of people just got to witness The Flash, a movie that's been boggled down with so much controversy, but also with so much praise. If you've only been following the bad news associated with The Flash movie, you might not know that for a year now, we have heard rumors that the test screenings for The Flash movie were phenomenal, people calling it the greatest comic book movie ever made. And then that's all we kept hearing from from people involved with the movie, to the CEO of Warner Brothers, to James Gunn, the co-head of DC Studios, but it's like, can we really take their word for it? They work for Warner Brothers in DC. Of course they're gonna call it a good movie. Let's get down to looking at these reactions, man. So I'm gonna need your guys' opinions hearing these first reactions for the people who actually got to see The Flash. Are you believing the hype they're producing on some of these negative ones? Do you think they're being too harsh or that you can look past it? And even with hearing all this stuff, are you still in utter disbelief that this could possibly be one of the best DC movies ever made? Because... I'm still kind of there with you. Alright, so yes, I'm definitely going to read off a couple of first reactions, both positive and negative ones, if I can find any. But just giving you a general consensus of the bunch that I have read and prepared here for you. The hype is looking real. This is genuinely looking to be one of the best DC movies ever made. I am seeing mainly positive reviews. I'm actually struggling to find some negative ones, and I'm trying to so I can get a good balance for you guys in this video. With all the behind the scenes drama and DC headed towards a reboot, I think it's kind of a miracle this thing is turning out as good as it did. So now let me go ahead and read some of these reactions for you. Starting off here, we have one from Scott. The Flash, hands down, one of the best superhero films of all time. No joke, The Flash is the ultimate movie going experience as it has a little bit of everything action emotion heart humor and plenty of nostalgia Ezra Miller is phenomenal as dual Barry Allen Michael Keaton and Sasha Kaye are very good also this is a film that audiences will be watching over and over again oh and avoid all the spoilers you can for this movie because there are some really incredible surprises that will truly blow you away I cannot wait to see this again yeah just as a side note I'm not gonna be reading any spoilers even if there are any out there I'm mainly going to be sticking to spoiler free stuff but this is going to be a common thing you're going to be hearing from these reactions people are seeming to be in love with this movie we have another review here that goes believe the hype Christopher Nolan movies aside the Flash movie is the greatest DC movie of the last 30 years that belongs in the same conversation as Superman 78 and Batman 89 the movie breaks incredibly new ground in superhero cinema and honors DC lore of years years past. Another review here from a journalist that works with Collider. The Flash is fantastic. I know Ezra Miller has made a lot of mistakes, but they are so good in this movie. Loved Michael Keaton, the action, humor, and emotion. Andy Muschietti has crafted something special. Thumbs way up. WB didn't show the after credit scenes. That's something I do want to add on here. They showed the audience an unfinished version of this movie, so some of the visual effects weren't exactly complete. It didn't even have credits at the end of the movie. It just showed directed by Andy Muschietti and no post credit scenes were shown. I'm guessing they want to save those surprises for actual moviegoers and whatnot, but that should just lend you to the confidence Warner Brother had in this movie. They were willing to show an unfinished version of a movie because they knew it was that good and it wouldn't bother the audience. Another thing we got to talk about here, Ezra Miller is getting a lot of praise for their performance. Again, it's your own personal thing on how you feel about Ezra Miller. For me personally, I'm willing to separate the art from the artist, and I've always really enjoyed Ezra Miller as an actor. I think they're a wonderful performer, and they're a lot of fun as Barry Allen, so to hear that they are even better in this movie, and Ezra has to be. They are the emotional weight of this movie. It's really cool to see that Ezra nails it. I'm also happy to see a lot of critics being able to separate that, yeah, Ezra Miller might have done some bad stuff, but just speaking about them professionally, they did fantastic in this movie. That's one thing I was worried about, you know, like, what if this movie was perfect, but just because they hated the outside stuff Ezra Miller did. They gave this movie a bad review and affected all the other people who worked so hard on this film. Another review here from Scott Mance. The Flash is awesome. One of the very best DC movies. A perfect blend of action, heart, and humor. So many wow and chilling inducing moments that longtime DC fans will love. Ezra Miller is superb 
twice actually, and Michael Keaton has still got it. Another review I wanted to read here that highlights Sasha Kaye, it says, I don't know what to say other than The Flash delivers more than I could have hoped. The acting is beyond great. Keaton delivers everything you want. Supergirl is my new favorite superhero. I'm genuinely shocked this movie meets and surpasses the hype. I never expected that. I also wanted to find one that kind of talks about Ben Affleck in the movie and it says here, I'm honestly floored it's this good. As a monster back to the future fan me too it has back to the future vibes all day michael keen is amazing as expected and this is the best ezra miller has been as the flash affleck gets some of his best batman moments too and sasha kaye rocks just continuous praise for the flash movie now okay to try and even things out i tried and looked for a couple of negative reviews or reviews that were harsh on the film to give a good balance and see what might be lacking in it this is the most negative one i could find the flash first hour is pretty fantastic strikes the perfect tone. Ezra is great, heroic, funny, emotional. The last hour is mostly terrible. Just an utter mess that'll leave you asking, what the hell is going on? Fan service and DC villain problem strikes again. Mixed bag overall. Even the negative reviews had a lot of positive things to say about it. That'll be interesting to hear, you know, whether a lot of people feel that way, that maybe it starts off really strong and in the end with all this multiverse shenanigans stuff, it just kind of gets boggled down and it feels like fan service and nostalgia. That's like a common complaint we hear all the time with people. It's like, oh, it was just nostalgia bait. It was just nostalgia bait. So I can see there might be a lot of people coming out of the flash and agreeing with this review. Again, in struggling to try and find a negative review about this movie, we have one here that says the flash is def not the best superhero movie ever made so let's get that out of the way but it's an impressive dc movie with lots of emotion and loads of surprises again even the negative reviews are still praising the movie okay wait i was actually waiting for this person to put out their reaction because they are always extremely harsh on superhero movies so this will be as negative as it can get and they have it here the first act is solid the curtain razor is an all-timer but the flash movie gets bogged down in exposition and retroactive origin rehashes with eventually empty spectacle that aggressively reminds you of the very movie that got wb into the mess 10 years ago but again that's their opinion and a lot of people could very well end up feeling that way so i don't know this kind of only skyrockets my feelings i'm curious to see how the outside world will feel about this because even now as the new flash trailer just came out and i was gushing over it on my tiktok comment section on my youtube comment section a lot of people going yeah it's gonna be mid though ah, nah, i don't like it ezra miller that's nah, gonna suck either way i wonder if hearing all this insanely positive buzz about the movie will work in its favor and even if not there's still some people who don't want to see it because they think the dc universe is getting rebooted so they don't even want to get attached still again we'll wait and see i'm sure there'll be another screening in like a couple of months hopefully i can get an early one but this is what i throw off to you guys you hear these insanely positive reviews for the flash are you in disbelief did you expect it and how do you think general audiences are gonna feel sometimes critics and general audiences they don't agree anything and everything be sure to like subscribe follow me on twitter at 3c films or on tiktok at 3c films but as always i'm chris take care